Rick Gladiator destroys geese. And the power fantasy is in such a tasteful way. Yes, it's easy to just beat geese. But if the power fantasy is just dominating opponents out of just nowhere, it gets boring real quick. How do you keep it interesting? Focus on the other characters. We build up Angie, her backstory, her motivations, and even get her to almost beat Geese. Not really, but she tried her best. And then to calibrate our powers around Angie's, and then seeing how strong she would be in these months, six months, nine months, 12 months. This way, Rick still has a power fantasy moment that we can enjoy without it being kind of cheap or meaningless, right? I like the way that Osan Yubi Adventure is handling this. Now, what is the tournament gonna end up because the geese is gone? Who is the main opponent? Well, the champion still exists and Mr. Broston still exists. At the end of the day, we just want the jewel on the belt. I don't really care about being champion, but hey, let's what's gonna happen in today's reaction. <laughs> Opening. The boomer opening playing while Geese is getting carried on the stretcher is fucking hilarious. No lyrics, we got guitar instead. You did it for Angie though! I don't know about that. <laughs> good, good luck. Yeah, what about your money, bro? What about a snake? Really? You want him to be corrected all this time? Yeah, makes you happy? Bro never really cared about the money or the marriage. He just wanted to see his little bro be put in fucking his place. Yeah. That's right, no more marriage. Damn. Angie back to her just wicked words as a royal elite, but I kind of like it when Angie's talking shit right now. Mm, what a shame, isn't it, Snape? No, don't listen. No, you can't just start playing the sentimental soundtrack at the very end and Angie's just like, wait, did I just lose out on this? No, don't give me that. <laughs> wait a minute. Did we play ourselves? Did we just lose a husband that would have treated us nice? <laughs> she. Champion! Yo, no opening today, huh? His coach believes in him. Champion. The only way champion beats Broston is Broston says, I feel bad for you, I'll let you win. There is no way in a 100 all out that champion beats this guy. Oh boy, here we go. He's probably the strongest here. One punch. Huh? All right, Geese is back. Now what's gonna happen? We're gonna team up and put him out of his misery. Wait, Rant? You're not even gonna go take your anger out on like Angie or like Rick? You go to random people? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Nobody cares about the audience, bro. People probably just. So many people probably just died. I don't know. But like, hey. Hey, we're here to have a duel. What the fuck are you doing? Uh. Drop them. One punch. Okay. All right. This is telling us that champion is very strong. I thought that for some reason this geese guy would go in like a different berserk mode and Broston and champion would have to like team up or something. But no, nah. this is just to show how strong Kelvin is. 
Okay. Wow. Okay, the champion is really, really strong. What the fuck? Eh, you know what? All right, all right. It's still late. I wonder. Hmm. Well, I don't want the fight between Broston and Kelvin to end too quick, but all right, let's, let's delay. Let's see what happens. Uncertainty. Uncertainty. He's hesitating. Mm -hmm. How far away is that? Nice little jog. Yeah, it's a light little exercise, you know, 700 kilos. <laughs> Out of no, that was the most just random fans that you see the mountain. Hold on a second, Rina. What? Okay. Oh, Kelvin. Oh no, Kelvin just destroyed Rina's titties. ああ。プロイユーブロ。That's right. He can he can smell shit and like move around. Why do I think the glutton lolly is cute and the glutton Anna is disgusting? Because this girl has not done anything to be mean, to be selfish, to shit on other people, to step on others, to tell other people their life story when no one asked. But I'm not like, there's, it's nothing about the gluttony, bro. It's all about her acts and how she treats others. This girl chills, bro. She just eats her meals in silence, or not in silence. She just eats her meals, she just chill. I'm not for fucking Maki, she, she, she a demon, man. Okay。やっぱり妙だな。いつしか戦いと呼べるものは存在しなくて最初は良かったが。第107回新。これはただ勝つだけの作業だ。Okay. They're building this guy up to be a person that wishes to know defeat. Oh no. Not again. I thought I'd come here and face some challenges. My life is so boring. I'm just winning over and over again. Okay, so Mr. Broston will correct him and he'll give him a new... He'll beat his ass down. He'll be defeated. Then he'll have something new to strive for. That's gonna be this arc. He won again! Oh my god! He's so bored. He's so empty. There is no challenge. There is no purpose. I wish to know defeat. Yeah, coach is happy though. He's just kind of doing it for coach, huh? Oh, eavesdropping. Yeah, it's not fun anymore. Damn, they're actually just like failing from success. They've succeeded too hard that now it's getting boring. People don't want to watch anymore. Maybe I'll just get hit. Maybe he'll just get hit, yeah. This is so slow, but if I just kill him right now, if I beat him, it's gonna be bored, so sure, just hit me, bro. Alright, here it is. No! Woo! 
盛り上がってるなチャンピオン破れる<笑>無敗のチャンピオンが破れるダイヤマンって上に波がある選手を演じ、うん、試合が終わるように調整しながら三連だからこそ本気で試合に挑むことは It's basically for coach and his own boredom, right? Like, if he just keeps winning, no one would show up, this gym would go down. He kind of fights for coach. Coach gave him a new life. But it feels like he's just stuck in this prison where he just has to keep doing these charades. But now Rick and Mr. Broston has shown up. Now he doesn't have to pretend anymore. <laughs> Mr. Broston, different. You're going to die if you don't try. Good luck. I mean, he should have an idea after. Jesus, Angie. Just... <laughs> if he... It's kind of crazy in the beginning how Angie seemed like a regular fodder villain from like a royalty, but now she's. So important to the story, kind of, and even intermission seems like, God damn, she's just one of the best girls in the show now. Jesus, another one? Is she, she ain't even a lolly, and they just shown her grippers like that, full display. Okay. The movement, bro. Like, her, the commentator movement is also so dynamic. Like, the titty physics is crazy. Oh! That's pretty impressive, right? The rotation punch thing, it, 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 it did get him here. <laughs> he just stands there. One straight punch, bro. He's just standing one straight. Look at the shit. <laughs> he's still holding back, right? He's got he's built up bad habits. The uncertainty, the hesitation, the bad habits that he's built up after like this kind of like sandbagging, smurfing to make make it seem like the bad fight's gonna get uh be close, right? For the audience. He figured it out. So intelligent. Expose the fraud then. Well, like, he is lying, but it's for the content, you know? Yes, he's being deceptive. But at the end of the day, it's all to put on a show and to. And for the coach to do well in the gym to exist, so I don't think it's really his fault, but he is deceiving them. Hmm. <laughs> Are they gonna show us the green cat girl right now? The funniest shit would be if, if, he, if this guy literally just did this shit and then immediately sees the green cat girl gushing. He's not moving. Two fingers only. Damn. Caught. Countered. I hope that during the match he does go all out. There's no way that he just like limits himself like this. It wouldn't make sense for the character arc. There has to be a moment where he loses the composure and goes all out. And even if it shows to the audience that he's been hiding his strength, it's still gonna be okay. Come on, man. Coach! 
に通したぞケルビンお,お前が本気じゃないはずがないだろう Well shit Now everyone knows they're gonna stop coming to the show now Yeah, he's doing it for the coach. But I think that that's a bit misunderstood. Coach probably wants the best for Kelvin. It's like they want the best for each other, but he's doing it for coach, but coach probably wants to go all out right now. That's right. Release the limiter. The limiter is off. Okay, okay. They're really hyping this guy up now. How strong is he? That's right, the animation is so good. My man just got complete armament hockey as well, too, huh? God damn, like the fighting animation is very clean. Oh, Subarashi. He's been faking it. <laughs> Maybe they'll be compelled by the true strengths. And there's gonna I, I I feel like the beautiful way to end Kelvin's character arc isn't for the audience to admonish him for hiding it, but for them to recognize that there's potential for even cooler fights with Kelvin being so strong. Fuck him. What is this incantation? No one's seen him use magic like that. He's been hiding this shit. Another magic. It's torn up. Okay, okay, okay. For who? Wait, wait, wait. This is not good for who. I don't think this is good for Kelvin. I think Mr. Broston might match his energy pretty soon. Is Rick worried for Kelvin right now? Hey, that's pretty high. Okay, this is pretty fucking sick. This is pretty fucking high right now. He's actually anytime we see people just dropping meteors in anime, it is always so hype, bro. The animation quality too. Look at the sheer scale of this thing. Okay. Yeah, that means that Senpai's gonna match him, right? Okay, okay, okay. We're not scared of Kelvin right now. We're scared of what Mr. Brost is gonna do to counter this. And now he will try. Single punch! Fuck that meteor! Okay. They've reached his heart. I'll reciprocate that favor. <laughs> Quarter thumbs up. So, so what? So like, full thumbs up is like, I fully respect you. Quarter thumbs up is like, you've done pretty good and now I will try. Just 25%? Like, what is this? <laughs> Orc battles. Oh shit! Like a manly fight!
Like, we will just stand here. We'll just take it. It's just gonna be just each other punching each other in the face. He's not there. Nope, don't care. He's just tanking it all. I fear it might be over for the champion. Oh, really? Oh, really? Damn. I bet Rick would be alive. He's running on empty fumes, man! Yo, I, I need Mr. Broston to say stand proud. You are strong. We need to have a moment like that. Mm -hmm. There's a whole party of them. <gasps> the fans! <laughs> Look at that man. Isn't that wholesome? <laughs> Power friendship! <laughs> Dude, Rick is basically Madoka from Beyblade right now. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> like, we don't know what's going on, but like, oh my god, three separate skills at the same time! Oh shit, he's still standing. He tanked that shit again. I think that was it. He moved. Oh, oh, I... <laughs> we we made him use all the fingers, right? All the hands, and he moved a bit. So this this is good. This is actually a win for us, bro. He, he got pushed back this much. And here's the ending song. That fucking punch. Just the impact frames, bro. And like, he's not even using skills. Mr. Broston hasn't used a single skill. Everything is just regular physical punches, like basic punches, just straights. This guy probably is the strongest being in this universe. He's smiling! That's a good ending! Yo, the credits running like this too? Man, and that's the episode and Osanubi Adventure just keeps getting better and better, man. Like, remember, the power of fantasy is as only as good as the supporting characters that you can work with. If it's always just you winning no matter what, it's boring. Mr. Broston's of course gonna win. But the reason this episode was so good is because of the Kelvin flashback. We're using other characters to build them up and for them to have development and then for us to kind of assist with that and the fight animations too. Power of God could never. Season could season two could never. Season one, I don't know about that, but like this animation quality. What studio is this? Hold up, hold the fuck up. Well, Sun Newbie Adventure. What studio is this, man? Let's see this shit. The studio is Yumeta Company, and Yumeta Company has done. There's not many other modern animes that they've done recently, and it's just been a bunch of random shows in the past that I do not recognize. And I think this is fucking amazing. 
Like, like straight up, <laughs> they did Tokyo Mew Mew. <laughs> they did Tokyo Mew Mew, but this studio, I think it's delivering. The fights are very fluid. The impact frames, everything. The meteor, the sheer scale, the meteor, the fan service, the titty physics, everything is so good. I think this is definitely one of the most underrated shows this season. And most people won't give it a try simply because of the premise of the old, old character, maybe the main character, or just, you know, just like an Oonga Boonga typical power fantasy show, right? But the execution of the tropes is what matters. And I think this is doing such a fantastic job. All that's left now is Mr. Broston and Rick to have a fun grand finals and us to go home with the jewel. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.